All right, we're at Morningstar Farms and actually I noticed they had a sign that says follow us for a free burger and they give you two little small slider patties, their choice of vegan burgers. And I got spicy black bean, I got chickpea as well. So literally it's as soon as you get into the Dufferin Gates. So right now I'm gonna head into the food building and uh, I'm gonna get some real eating on. <music> Uh, trying to figure out what would be unique to bring us into here and uh, I'm a huge fan of comfort foods and I hate dishes so we decided to come up with something where we could eat the bowl. It's obviously a play on words, um, a little cheeky but um, it did get us in, it wasn't too vulgar. The Yorkshire Pudding Bowl, it was uh, top 10 things at the CNE in our first year which like, blew us away. Um, so we decided to make it more value for your dollar by making it a full roast beef dinner. Um, didn't start off that way, but now, so it's a Yorkshire bowl, uh, roast beef we do here, mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, and then we top it with a cherry tomato. So it gives the effect of a poppy sundae. I love Yorkshire pudding too. Something I don't eat enough of. It's like melt in your mouth roast beef. The Yorkshire pudding on the side is just perfect to dip in. the home of the 99 cent taco. So the lineup is always large, but it moves fairly quickly. So if you're looking to grab a quick bite, easy, cheap taco, uh, this is probably one of the better spots to go. Shocked at how fast things are moving around uh, at the CNE. and Usually the first day at the CNE is really packed, really busy, but I've been able to eat food pretty fast and efficiently so far. So hopefully the rest of the evening is like that as well. So the place is called Pulled, and they serve all these like gourmet, like interesting burgers, and they have like chicken waffle sandwiches, red velvet pancake pulled pork sandwiches, donut burgers. Uh, they even have a churro burger as well. So I saw someone making their red velvet jack pancakes. It's actually it looked really interesting because like when they're cooking it on the fryer, it's very very bright pink. I didn't know what it was at first, and then when I saw the sign, I said, like, "Oh my god, that looks like glutton heaven right there." I just got the donut burger. Uh, it comes on a Krispy Kreme donut, which is my, my favorite commercialized donut. It's gonna be amazing on a six ounce patty as well. I'm like absolutely starving for this burger. It looks so good. Cheers to the messiest thing I'll be eating all day. All right. Mm. Just one bite and I'm already grabbing the napkins. It's so good. The one thing I will say that I, I don't like the feeling of stickiness on my fingers. So if you're someone who has that same reaction to sticky foods, I would say maybe eat it with like a napkin. If it didn't have Krispy Kreme donuts, uh, I don't think it would be as good. It definitely raises it like a step above. Like if it was Tim Horton donuts, def it would not be anywhere near this level. So we're at the Mac and Cheesery and I'm right about to try their Rainbow Grilled Cheese. I've seen a bunch of promos for it already, so I'm kind of excited to try it. A rainbow Grilled Cheese, please. Okay, so we got the Rainbow Mac and Cheese right here. So it's actually uh, placed on top of some chips, which is interesting. I didn't notice that when I seen the videos before. You get the nice sprinkles on top and you have that nice gooey cheese in the center. You know what it kind of looks like? You know like those fruit roll-ups? 
Doesn't it kind of look a little bit, resembles a bit of a fruit roll up right now? So once a year experience, try something, try something unique. I feel like every time you come to Sydney, you should try something unique, you know, like that's the main point of coming to the food court, is just experiment with something you haven't tried before, and uh, I have to say this is definitely experimentation, but a nice one. Right, so there you have it, I hope you guys have some good understanding of what you want to do when you come to the CNE this year, and uh, what you want to eat as well, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.